Welcome to the Imperfect Tesla. So today we are going to be talking about dual charging. So either you're a motor Tesla family, you have multiple Teslas, and you're wondering how you want to do it, or if you've been switching out one car at a time and you're trying to get something that's better, or you are about to become a motor Tesla family and you're wondering how you're going to dual charge or charge your two cars, or you're just a dual EV family, it doesn't have to be Teslas. Or if you have one 240 outlet and you're looking to split that between, say, your appliance like a dryer and your one EV, then this is for you. So, um, like, I've always, like I mentioned before on the channel, we have two Model Ys. So we have, you know, dual um, Tesla family and we, of course, have to charge both cars, right? So what do we have set up? How do we do it? What are the little things you need to know, be prepared for? We're going to get through all that today. And so um, without any further ado or things like where I'm sitting in the front, let's get to it. And this is the device. This is called a NeoCharge Smart Splitter. It's made by a company called NeoCharge. It's got two outlets. Uh, there's a 1450 outlet on one side. And on the other side, we've got uh, another 1450 outlet. And you can see there's lights on either side that tells you which is active. Like I mentioned, it's made by a company called NeoCharge. Um, you just see some examples of the cars that they have that they're compatible with. And so they have different options. You can see here, there's a uh, NEMA 131030, there's a NEMA um, 1430, there's a NEMA 1450, which is what we have. There's also a NEMA 1050 and a NEMA 650. So based on your setup on what you need, they do have options for you that you can um, get with, you can purchase from them. There are also some adapters in case you need to get any of those. And then they do have an app, which I'm going to um, talk about a little later in the video. And the app, it's currently in beta um, testing. So it's not live yet on the website, on, on, on the app store. But you can see what they plan to do with the app. It's basically, you know, gives you a way to track your, your charging. It can see you can request access to the beta app. They'll let you know what you do. But yeah, this is basically what we have set up and, um, it's been very useful. We've had it for, for months now. We've never had any issues with charging either of our cars at the same time separately. So I do recommend you definitely, um, check them out. Since I already have this one in here, I'm going to do some reverse unboxing, take it out, put it back in the box, show you what the whole thing looks like, and I will talk about what you need to do in your car to charge two cars at the same time. All right, so to give you guys a better uh, view of the new charge, I basically put it back in the box, um, and I'm going to do some kind of reverse unboxing for you also. In there you have the new charge splitter. You've got this, uh, these two screws that you use to attach the splitter to the outlet. You have these two screws that you use to, um, I think between this or this, you use it to screw the clamp to the outlet. And so I'll show you what that looks like in a second. When I take this out, Put this aside before I come to the splitter here. That's the clamp that I was talking about. So, what this does is this goes on um, to on the outlet, it goes over the outlet. So, you screw it in over there with, uh, with the screws, and once you have that in. When you plug your outlet, you split it in, this basically will go 
in this way and you have some screws on the side and what this does is when you screw this big screws in it keeps the splitter in place so you can't pull it out but I'll show you what that looks like um, in a little bit but so that is the box there's no instruction manual it's nothing it's that's just it but it's simple enough that you don't need instruction manual so you put it to the side and then you've got the actual splitter that too is pretty plain you've just got the front facade with the logo and then on the left side you've got the outlet uh 1450 outlet the clamp screw and this little led light and on there it says primary so this is your primary outlet and on the other side you've got something similar another 1450 outlet and on here it says sec for secondary and if you actually look right here this tells you exactly so you can see on this side you got the primary on this side you got a secondary and it gives you more details the input and output so um, you've got your model serial uh serial number and then when you get the if you get the app uh the app is currently a better better testing and so if you need to get access to that you have to like request for access but you basically scan this QR code and that connects your splits up to the app and all that good stuff. And like I said, that's basically it. So speaking of the the maximum amperage, the 40 amps, for you to charge two electric vehicles, as long as you're not drawing out more than 40 amps at one point, you are good. If you have both of them set, to your vehicle set to pull 40 amps each, then it will only supply power for the primary at any given time and the secondary will be shut off until the primary is done um, if you want to charge both vehicles at the same time then you have to set them to maximum 20 amps each but yeah that that's it it's it's um it's got some heft heft to it um it's pretty solid but that's the new charge all right so like i mentioned the clamp that comes with it that is the clamp and so you screw um you mount the clamp over the outlet and so you've got one screw that goes on either side and so once that's in it's in there solid pretty well and so with that clamp in there now i'm gonna take the uh, the splitter and then we're just gonna plug it in and push it in there we go then you have a click that lets you know that it's uh, getting power now and so I'm gonna take the clamp screw just gonna screw that in place make it in pretty tight uh, get that in good and then I'm gonna come to the other side here I'm gonna also take the clamp screw and I'm gonna get that in there so what I was trying to show you is what, what this clamps in now this does not come out anymore so it's it gives you a good secure um, fit into the outlet and with that your splitter is ready to um, function so I'm gonna take the mobile connector right this draws 32 amps um, maximum I'm gonna put that in on the primary side and then I'm gonna take the wall connector it's wired on its own and I'm gonna put that into the secondary so now basically what that's doing now is we've got power going to both outlets from either side and so i'm going to show you next what you need to do to charge two cars at the same time either you're doing them dual 20 amps each or you are going to do it one at a time 
All right, so now I'm in my car. I'm just gonna show you, I think the best way to do this, if you are gonna do two VIC EV charge, is to have one set to a scheduled charge and the other one set to, set to a scheduled departure. So on my car, I'm on the mobile connector, which is pulling 32 amps max, and it's set to a scheduled charge, which starts at 9.15 p.m. And so what that means then is my car will start charging at 9.15 p.m. And typically, you know, usually two, three hours, depending on how low I am, um, it will be done by midnight. On my wife's car, she's on scheduled departure with the departure set for 5 a.m. And so typically by the time our car is starting to charge, this one is done. And if you want to charge both at the same time, if you don't want to do one or the, one or the other, you can simply set one car, both cars rather, to 20 amps. And so what that means then is combined total, cars are going to be pulling, pulling 40 amps, which is what the splitter is built for. That's the only thing I have to do is just play around with your scheduling, your timing, and like I mentioned, this here is on scheduled departure. The other one is on scheduled uh, charging. So you just have to just play with things and figure out what works best for you and you know what you need between your two cars but it's very doable you can get dual charging with for two evs or at least two teslas which is my experience one more thing i want to make sure i cover is the app for the splitter which is currently in beta testing and so it's not live on the app store yet and so um, you can request access to the beta testing and they will give you access. But the app basically gives you access to see, you know, more details for the uh, charging. You can see the power usage, uh, the times, all that good stuff. So as you can see, um, you got both cars showing up on the app. And it's color coded so you can tell them apart you can see by a week or by a month and just basically more details some of this you already get on the tesla app but it's just good to see that um you know being tracked from the splitter itself um as i mentioned the app is in beta testing so not all features are working are working just yet and so if you want the app access you have to request it from the support and they will tell you what to do to get into the the app all right so um that's what we have set up when it comes to dual charging um so hopefully um you know, this helps someone helps you if you are in that situation where you're looking to figure out what to do with two evs and um but yes if you if this has been helpful to you please don't forget you know like share subscribe pass the message along hopefully this helps hopefully this helps someone and um we'll see you next time